hi everyone in this video and in the subsequent videos we are going to be looking at the transformer decoder layer we have seen the transformer encoder layer before we need the decoder to create a full transformer so the uh, the encoder is actually related to the decoder that uh, we are going to be seeing so in PyTorch you create using the transformer decoder uh, decoder layer and the argument some of the arguments are D model uh, number of heads batch first uh, to drop out by the way for simplicity we are going to make it zero and dimension of the feed forward these are some of the arguments and the bias so I'm going to put in the description the Jupyter notebook later to this video okay so this is going to be two for simplicity this is one this is true this is zero and this is two okay so the arguments we can just highlight them to not make the writing look dull okay so we have seen the transformer encoder layer transformer encoder layer tel transformer encoder layer and what we saw we was this i love nlp we pushed it through this layer and the output in pytorch they call it memory the output is actually part of the input uh, part of the input to the uh, decoder okay right so the decoder takes the input the German translation of this I love NLP lip NLP sorry for my German please the input goes through the embedded layer and through the positional encoding so embedding and they are going to be added the output of the positional encoder and the embedding are going to be added and the output goes through multi-head attention the output of the multi-head attention with the input of the multi-head attention are added okay the output goes through a normalization layer no okay this output is actually the query and goes through second multiple head attention so this memory is actually going to be the key and the follow so key follow query go into the multi-head attention so this from the uh, encoder we are kind of bringing context to translate to German okay so this output I can also call this maybe X this X or the query and the output is uh, added and they go through one more uh, normalization this norm goes through uh, multiple 
fully connected layers. The output of the multiple fully, fully connected layers and the input are actually added to go through a final norm layer. I hope you can see this is normalization to get the output. Let's call it X. So this X goes, goes, and it is added, and we can get the final X here, okay? So what really happens here is, at the beginning to translate from English to, a, to German, you start with an SOS token. You push it through this neural network with the hope you get this ish. Then you push this SOS with ish to, through this neural network with the hope you get the word leap. You repeat it with the hope you get the word NLP until you get the word uh, end of sequence. So this is how it works. There's some uh, repetition. You run it uh, multiple times to get uh, the translation. So let's uh, be clear. This is multi-head attention. There are some of our layers. Uh, okay, maybe this is the norm layer. This is norm layer. Uh, sorry for different for using different highlighter, but you get the point. So in this uh, subsequent videos, we are going to be seeing. Uh, so in the next video, we'll be seeing this. We'll be looking at this part. The video after that, we'll be looking at this part. And the video after that, we'll be looking at this part. Okay, so uh, three more videos. And uh, yes, so let's highlight this. So this was our original import. I love NLP. We are translating it to German. So this is a kind of uh, machine translation, uh, translating languages. And uh, okay, uh, if you have any question, please let me know in the uh, comments. And thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.